and hello friends today we are going to be doing a clean with me as well as a christmas decorate with me the last time you saw this room we were just setting it up so things are going to be a little different but not much now as far as our normal traditions go we usually set up our christmas tree and all of our christmas decorations on october 31st um, the reason for this is actually nothing to do with halloween at all um, October 31st is actually Reformation Day, and um, we celebrate Reformation Day by setting up all of our Christmas decorations together as a family and go through all of our uh, traditions for that day together. But seeing as we are living in someone else's house this year, we are going to be setting up all of our typical decorations just out of respect for my in-laws. So we decided to hold off for a minute but it became so strange to not have anything set up and going around and actually hearing Christmas music places that we decided to kind of just set up some of our Christmas stuff in our room and go through our typical traditions just to feel an ounce of normalcy. So starting off, today is Monday and we are going to be cleaning up our room and just going through doing our normal Monday chores, doing laundry, organizing the room, cleaning under the beds, changing out sheets and whatnot. And as we clean the room, then we prepare everything for our Christmas decorations and go through all of our traditions. So feel free to hang out with me as I clean our tiny home.
Yes, you are seeing this correct. We are putting our loose sheet underneath our fitted sheet. And the reason for this is because I absolutely hate the feeling of mattress protectors. And I hate the way that they slip off of the mattress all the time. So I lay down our sheet underneath our fitted sheet because we don't like sleeping with an over sheet. And this works much better for us. And as you can see, our dog is super helpful. I totally forgot that I made the bed on top of her too and so about 10 minutes later when I went to put my daughter down for her nap I closed the door and went downstairs with my son only to hear the dog whining and whimpering at the bedroom door because I totally forgot she was in there. If anyone is wondering what this red ring is that seems to be following my daughter around mysteriously, my daughter is obsessed with this thing. It's a replacement ring for my mother-in-law's Instapot. She has been obsessed with this thing since we moved in here. I can't seem to keep her away from it for some reason. She just loves this thing. So she always wears it as a necklace when we're playing around in the bedroom. And as you can see, I took over.
once the bedroom was finally done being cleaned, I decided to go downstairs and try to find our advent calendar, which I thought was going to be the only piece of Christmas decor that we were going to bring upstairs. But as I opened our Christmas boxes, I realized just how much I personally really needed this stuff in our room. So I started going through the boxes, which we have three what I call my holiday boxes, which include pretty much all of our holiday decor. And went through and found the items that I felt would work well in our current space. So I grabbed our seasonal candle, my holiday apron, a garland with some color lights, our advent calendar, and our stockings, as well as our Christmas books to put in our book pile. And then one of our kids' bedroom Christmas trees, which are about a foot tall, just for us to decorate on our TV stand. Starting off, I hung up our advent calendar. I'm going to be posting a video about this soon, but I made this out. I made this advent calendar um, about three years ago, and it goes from December 1st all the way to January 6th, which is the the full days of the advent that we celebrate. And each day has a card that goes into it that has a special activity that we do. Um, they're not super grandiose kind of activities. Uh, some of them are as simple as a movie night and others are as complicated as having a day over at somebody's house to do some sort of bonding activity with them. And then I grabbed the foot tall Christmas tree and rouged it as I danced around like a dork to Christmas music. And then because these Christmas trees are relatively new to our household, I don't have any ornaments that currently fit the size of tree. So I used my husband's beard ornaments that we bought for a silly Christmas photo a couple of years ago, and they actually worked perfectly. And then I thought as a nice little finishing touch, I took my scarf from Scotland that is our clan's pattern and wrapped the base of it as a Christmas tree skirt.
wraps it up for today, guys. Thanks for joining me, and stay tuned for more holiday-related videos.